young Portland man is fighting cancer and the U.S. State Department as well. His wife is in Britain and naturally she wants to be by his side when he starts chemo. However, the U.S. Embassy in London has refused a visa for her. Quinn Local 6 reporter Mike Donnie was here with the story you'll see only on 6. Mike? Jeff, it's a love story. Jenny Walker and Hunter Davis met online. When she visited here on a temporary visa, they fell in love and were married. She returned to the UK and applied for a permanent visa. But while they were waiting, Hunter was diagnosed with brain cancer. Now they're separated by two oceans. But we may have found a way through one of them. They don't take our situation into account at all, which I think is just disgusting. It's 10 in the evening in Wales as Jenny talks to us on Skype from her bedroom. Hunter is home in Troutdale. They desperately want to be together. There's got to be something that can be done. I mean, our basic human rights. I just want to be with my wife. Married in Portland, they honeymooned in Port Townsend. He thought she'd feel like she was in Wales. They decided she'd go back. So many people that are here illegally and, um, you know, they get away with it. And um, whereas, like, we've tried to do everything by the book. She had just returned to Wales when the news came. Cancer. Two weeks ago, I was at work, and I got this message that this had happened. And it's, you know, I can't even imagine something this bad had happened. Jenny immediately traveled to London to apply for a visitor's visa. She was denied. We had um, a hospital document as proof of my life-threatening illness, and they didn't even ask to see it. They have to prove that they're just visiting the United States and then they're going to return to their home country. I looked in today to the spouse visa and that can take up to 10 months to process and we, we don't have 10 months. Immigration attorney Philip Smith says Jenny could apply to Homeland Security for a humanitarian parole. It's for emergencies, but rarely granted. Meantime, the two lovers hope for a miracle. There's no future without him in my life, you know? You know, no doubt in my mind that I'm going to be with her. Hunter's doctor say he has 18 months to live. I contacted a State Department official who said Jenny must have property or a career or something to prove she'll return to Britain. She's a barista who lives at home. We'll keep following them as Hunter appeals to his senators for help, and you can sign Jenny Walker's human rights petition online. Reporting for you live, Mike Donahue, Coin Local 6.